dear brothers from planet Earth. I am Ashta Sharon. It is with great joy, great joy in my heart that I come to be with you today. As has already been said here, everything is happening as planned without much fanfare, without much disturbance of the planet's own energy. Place yourself in space right now. No, don't give me that rhetoric about how you can't see anything. I am making you a request, place yourself in space, at such a distance that you can see your planet. Use your imagination and you will achieve it. So now each of you is floating in space, surrounded by stars, surrounded by planets and I might say, surrounded by angels. Look around, small points of light twinkle around you. Exactly, they are the angels bringing all the necessary protection to you at this moment, in this place. You don't need to see angels with wings, to be sure that they are there, you just need to open your heart and feel their energy of love. Then you are floating in space, protected by the angels. Your planet is in front of you, it has become a ball so small that you can almost carry it in your hands, due to the distance you are from it. So look at your planet. Observe how beautiful it is, observe how it emanates light, as if small lamps sparkle around its surface. No, they are not lamps. Your planet is reflecting the light that is arriving on your soil, the light of Alcyon's central Sunday. Now you will receive special glasses, it will appear in your hands. Put on those glasses. What do you see now? You no longer see just your planet. You see thousands or I could even say millions of points around your planet. Dark dots, yes, given how far away you are, but each one of them shines, also reflecting the light of the central Sunday. Note that at each of the poles, something much more gigantic. So what are you seeing? There is a mothership at the North Pole and a mothership at the South Pole. It doesn't matter who it is it doesn't matter which galactic family is there. These two ships are already positioned for the rotation of your planet. A rotation of poles that is already happening slowly. Around your planet are millions of shining dots, you can barely see the blue surface of your planet. These points are our ships. All around the planet like a great shield, like a great protective shell for everything that is and will be happening on your planet. Don't think that the universe out here, where you are, has forgotten your planet. Those who once dominated it remain ready, as they still have the illusion that something could go wrong and quickly destroy the planet. But this will not happen. We are beings of light. We are beings with an immense divine spark, and the love in our hearts will protect this planet with our lives if necessary. So nothing. Nothing can be done against this planet until its ascension. After this, Gaia is already part of the Galactic Confederation and will have all the protections that exist on evolved planets, never allowing the resumption of any low vibrational being. So now, remove your glasses. You see the planet shining again. Put your glasses back on, the planet is surrounded by a large bubble of pink light which is exchanging places with a large bubble of green light, which is also exchanging places with a large bubble of violet light, which is exchanging places with a large bubble of blue light, that changes places with a large bubble of yellow light and that exchanges places with a large bubble of white light. These seven colors mix around the planet, each acting in its main function. Blue in the generation of new consciousness, of a new world, Yellow bringing awareness and wisdom to everyone, pink bringing love, almost unconditional, to everyone's hearts, white bringing balance, the greatest possible balance to each soul, green bringing healing, and violet transmuting all this low vibration energy into love and light. No, I didn't forget the red bubble, it's outside of all these others, you'll see it now. It is a bubble of strength, of power but not power for power's sake, the power of protection, the power of vigor, the power of energy necessary for this planet. Remove your glasses again and you will see your planet again, beautiful, in its original rotation movement. Now you will be taken back to your places in the physical world, 
on the surface of the planet, in the snap of a finger. Don't forget what you saw. Everything you saw is around you. What is the objective of this message? Just show you that we are preparing all the ground so that those sparkling points that are our ships begin to appear in your skies in large quantities. To show that the first point of the big lie that has always been launched on your planet will be destroyed. You are not alone in the universe, you are just one of the races in the universe among millions of others. Just showing up will cause a lot of problems. We will do nothing, say nothing, we will just show up. Observe what will happen as a reaction to this process. We are not afraid of your attacks, we are ready for them. Those who believe that we will fight back will be resonating with the energy of those who dominate them to this day. Because we have been here for a long time and the only thing we have been doing all this time is defending your planet, cleaning your planet, destroying the base of those who arrived here and settled on the planet. Just it. So be ready for a little chaos, but that's how it will be, little appearances every now and then, making everyone think what they want, resonate with what they want, believe what they want. And time itself will show the truth, that we will do nothing against any attack that comes from your planet. I can tell you that we are all ready. This moment approaches, in its time, it is very brief. So just open your hearts and be ready to receive all the unconditional love that we will be emanating at the same time to all the inhabitants of this planet, no matter who. Contacts will happen. Some people on the planet will be contacted, they will be invited to be with us, so that we can begin the great liberation process. All those who will rule this planet, no longer focusing on themselves, but focusing on the all, are already gathered. No. They are not beings that will arrive on the planet, they are already on the planet, and we have been meeting with them constantly. We are just going to start expanding this network of light and love, with some selected people. It is necessary that, as you like to say, people of flesh and blood, see with your own eyes and be able to tell, spread, disseminate the truth about us. How we are, how we live, how we act so that in the future, which is what we would most like to happen, you would welcome us with open arms. But we know that this will happen in just a few, but we need this support on Earth, to generate the feeling of friendship, to demonstrate what we came here to do. And it will be these people who will carry our message and prove what we are saying, so that the trust process can happen. And in the very near future, we will be able to land anywhere on your planet, without being attacked or attacked. Unconditional love gives everything and asks nothing in return. At this time we only ask for respect. We will not demand to be loved, but that there be respect for another race, for other beings different from you. But we know that this process of achievement is slow, it will not happen overnight. So we need help from beings on the planet, so that we can effectively show what we came for, why we came, and create a great alliance. For us it is also a time of change, because our bodies have not lived in the third dimension for a long time. So we are also doing daily work, to be able to stay in your dimension long enough, to have a meeting, to talk, to exchange ideas. And little by little, as we gain your trust, the process will reverse. Those who are ready for the fifth dimension will come to us. And then yes, it will be very easy for us to put into practice everything we have already planned for your planet. Stay in balance. All the rays are around the planet in action. Ask for help from whoever you want. And rest assured, you will be attended to promptly.